हे गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल आई एफ फोर पॉइंट टू दिस इज अजय सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड ऑपरेटर इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ टास्क एग्जीक्यूटर्स टुडे वी विल बी लुकिंग फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टर्स सो द ट्रांसपोर्टर इज बेसिकली अ फोर क्लिफ्ट व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन इंडस्ट्रीज टू ट्रांसफर मटेरियल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर सो दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ टास्क एग्जीक्यूटर सो वी विल बी ट्राइंग इट आउट understanding the properties of the transporter and we will make some small model where we will see how transporter works so we have uh, created videos on fixed resources and then we have created basically three videos on task executor 1 then task executor part 2 and then on operator so and this is our fourth video in task executors on transporter so let's begin so the transporter is basically a forklift as told it is used to transfer material from one location to another in the factory so i'll zoom it and i'll show you how it looks so it has the forks so it has tires so it can be electric or it can be on engines and the operators basically a load like it this forklift or fork arm is lifted up and down for load and unloading of the pallets mostly pallets or it can be parts so if you see this properties of the transporter it can be a forklift here we have the statistics where all the states and their values are shown we have template then we have visuals similar to all the objects which we have in the flexim then we have labels here then we have transporter so this is the property related to the object transporter and the task executor so what we can do is this is a lift speed so basically it is a speed uh, up and down of the forks so that you can put here depending on it so it can be distance per time meter per second you can put the speed then you can uh, click on this allow fork movement during travel do animations so if you are checking or unchecking this the animations in one or other way will go off or will be on so th this is if you want to reduce the movement then you can uncheck this then we have another property for the task executor same like the operators we have seen so here also we have a capacity which states that only one part will be transported then we have load time then we have unload time similarly as we had it for operators then we have travel property where you can put the maximum speed of the forklift you can put accelerations and all those states then we have the dispatcher uh, property window it is also same so mostly for all the task executors you can see elevator robot whatever these all the task executors you will have this dispatcher property tab because if you want to use this one or more more than one objects you need to use dispatchers there because without dispatcher you cannot use uh, more than one task executors for performing a task then we have as usual ports with a uh, property window here and then we have the triggers window here so this is all about uh, the basically transporter so let's begin we'll start modeling uh, one of the situation so we we have created a source we have created a queue this is a processor here and then we have another queue here which is at the longer distances away from that and then we can put one of the rack so that it would be the the, the visual should come good so i'll put a rack so what we'll do is we will place the uh, parts which are been processed into the rack using forklift so i will move this way and this is going this way i'll make this capacity to 10 processor i'll make as processing as 25 uh, seconds and i will use this forklift for transportation so i'll make this as use transport and then what i'll do is i would also require the transportation done to the processor another which is staying here and then we have this queue here so again back here so this way so let this be visualized this way 
and what we'll do is we'll use this for transportation so we'll make this use transport and I'll again make this for the rack also I'll make this as use transport so I will connect it to the center port I'll make it reset and just let me know how the view is what we'll do is we'll remove the connections as of and we'll set a run so the moment part goes you can see it has been loaded and unloaded so you can see it is moving so it is loading the parts unloading the parts from the respective stations and then moving accordingly so the flow is basically from this processor the part will be unloaded to the rack then the part will be loaded from the rack and unloaded to the processor and from processor to the queue this on this will be piling up so if you want to use more than one dispatcher come on we'll use a one then more transporter we will be using a dispatcher we will use the transporter we will use the operator we will use also the egv so come on what we'll do is we will not use network node as of but rather what we'll do is we'll uncheck all this use transports and we will make this uh, use transport for dispatcher so we have made it a use transporter for dispatcher then for this operator then we have done this for operator then for the AGV then for the transporter so here we are going to use uh, three uh, task executors which will be performing the task of tra transporting the material so you can see that the AGV has first sent the material then the operator and then the AGV so from the top view you can clearly watch how is the transfer of the material taking place so this is how by using the transporter you can use any of the uh, task executor to perform the task now currently what is happening is these objects are transferring the material based on round robin condition which is assigned to the dispatcher but they do not have path constraint currently they are taking uh, the minimum path uh, as per flexim logic the task executor will take the task which has minimum distance so it always will move into the straight line where it would have to travel minimum distance whereas apart from that if you want to put a constraint on moving that is on the path we could use the network node and on that network node we can assign the task to these task executors so that they will only follow the network node and it will not go with minimum transport distance logic so just let me know how uh, if you have any queries we can solve it in the upcoming video so the next video will be on the elevator please like the channel share the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel we'll meet in the next video till then bye have a nice day thank you